What's up? So spring was in full swing, and the flowers seemed to bloom brighter every passing day. I was preparing to head somewhere that caught my eye over a year ago, and it was finally coming to fruition. But before I packed up and headed out, a local pizzeria asked me to help them film an advertisement. So I spent the morning doing that. And funny enough, it was the spot that Nikolai and I usually get our pizzas from when we watch sports. So it was fun to work with a business that I'm already happy to support. And as soon as that had wrapped, I hopped in the van and took off for Tirana. I was actually heading for a spot a bit outside of Tirana, a spot where I hoped to find some peace and tranquility. And because I got there a little bit early, I waited for some time until my room was ready. And while waiting, took a short hike to a hill overlooking the entire site. Funky Cabin started back in 2020, when the owner, Vani, wanted to build a structure that imitated a tent but was a bit more sturdy. So he took the time during the pandemic to design and build the first cabin. Over the next few years, things for the business have changed and developed. It started with him transporting his cabin to different locations and renting out on a nightly basis, until it finally came to rest here in the hills outside of Tirana. A total of 14 cabins sit on the terraced hill, surrounded by olive and cherry trees. The land itself is owned by a farmer who still uses it to graze his sheep, helping bring together the atmosphere of the entire place. You can see the sparkle in his eyes and the excitement in his voice when Vani talks about Funky Cabin. He has dedicated his life to this, and it shows. And when my cabin was finally ready, he showed me inside his newest and most luxurious cabin, the Funky Bell. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that view. Wow. After settling in a bit and a hearty lunch, I took a walk around, exploring some of the other cabins. I was almost the only person there that night, so I had the whole place basically to myself. Oh, I'm going to
There, buddy. You look scared of me. Is that where the sheep stay in there? Yeah. Are these your chickens or are they? It's crazy. It smells so good too. Do you have a watcher or no? No. And the way the cabin sit give an impeccable view of the sunset. It's so hard to believe that this little oasis is so close to Tirana, the biggest, most bustling city in the country. Not far away from the sound of constant car horns and daily midnight fireworks, you can find the very definition of serenity. And if you want to experience this place for yourself, I'll leave their Instagram link in the description. And then I sat by the fire, accompanied by one of the many cats, and watched as the world turned blue.
After an incredible breakfast and a short time sitting and soaking in the view one last time, I packed my things while the sunbeams danced on the cabin floor. And then it was back to Pogradets again, feeling refreshed after this short time away. I drive between Pogradets and Tirana frequently, and after living in Albania for almost five years, the drive can feel monotonous. But I'm convinced that this is the best time of year to be on that road. All of the different shades of green coming through on the hillsides, with white and purple flowers sprinkled around. Mixed with the warm sun beaming through the windshield, it's the perfect beginning to the coming months. Much better than the first loaf. Still not great. Doesn't look fully done, but oh, it's gonna be so good. Hmm. Huh? Better. Progress. Day-to-day -day life is nothing exciting. It's working on the computer, taking care of my plants, honing my baking abilities, and staying as healthy as I can. But this is part of the reason that I tell these stories and document these moments. It's a kind of life journal that I can look back on after years or decades to remind myself of the place I was in at this time. It's something that I wish I'd been doing since I was a kid, but because I didn't start then, the next best time to start was now. My life isn't anything glamorous, and I think that's something many people can relate to. A mundane, sometimes boring life that has bits and pieces of wonder and excitement. But I think if we were more intentional about what we observed around us, we would be in a place of wonder far more often than we are. The flowers bloom every year, so we become accustomed to it. But does that make it any less breathtaking? And one thing this journey has taught me is how much wonder can be found around us on a daily basis, and how to find beauty in the mundane. One evening I was going for a walk by the lake, and after a brief chat with someone I heard that the local professional volleyball team had a match, so I wandered over to the gym to watch. A few days later, I got a call from my friend Mario, who wanted to go test drive a van in Korcha. He is considering buying one to build out into a camper and found a decent deal. So we met Tommy and Korcha to look over the van. It was in service. Couldn't order the service. Yeah, two weeks ago, we took it. 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 Two weeks 
and after that, we stopped by Tommy's house to check in on his progress since the last time I was there, and mess around with some of his toys. Because even if he's had good luck with it, eventually luck runs out with a little vehicle, you know? You have to put work into it if you want to keep a vehicle for forever. You know? <laughs> Tommy these... knows from how much work he's put into my vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, his is in way better shape. We're still always working on something, you know? So, yeah. What I was telling him is, is, if it's just for personal use, it's not that big of a deal. If you're trying you don't to rent want to have it, to go pick people up that are stranded somewhere. Right. Yeah. Did you fix this guy, Tommy? I mean, it works. It just doesn't shift very smooth. I don't really want to ride it compared to my other motorcycle right now, anyway. <laughs> Even if it's in very good shape, it won't be. No, I'm not saying it ever will, but I want to, like, at least make it a fun scooter. And yeah, that looks fun. It will be. It won't be. Did you buy it? Yeah. He might not come back. Let me try it. It's kinda of hard to keep it going. Long you time. get your you get your wheelie if you're walking on the ground behind it. I kinda like start rolling it backwards and give it a lot of throttle and kinda of pull up on it and then he mixed the four things together. I, I don't know if he's going to get it. His legs might be too short. That was just like a bicycle wheel. That doesn't count. Make it to where it's, you're doing everything that is to help it. That wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> you have that power to just like force it. Tear up the grass. Well, he better come back, or else he's gonna have to ride that back to poker dance. He's gonna have to push it all the way back. Yeah. It does look a lot more like a house, though. Yeah. You got your computer set up and everything. Yeah. Nice work. My workstation. <laughs> so yeah, it's no like detail work still needs done, but every main thing is like functional now. It's not concrete floor anymore. Like, this will be tile over to meet that. Yeah. We're gonna do that in the kitchen too. You got your refrigerator. Yep. You got countertops. Yep. We're gonna add this like all the way around eventually, but the guy didn't have enough material, I guess. Yeah. A lot of miscommunications with the countertop guy. Mario's calling me. I think we locked him out. We should have left him out. We should have, but. And when Mario and I got back to Pogredets, we went with a big group to play volleyball. A great way to soak in some sun and burn a few calories.
And then, one night, I went with some guys to play basketball. It wasn't a big game or super competitive, but the fact that this is about the fifth time I've played basketball in this country speaks to the significance of getting to play. And I think that it's a sign of big things to come. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll be back soon.